Hello everyone, my name is Christine Dewi from Chaoyang University of Technology, Taiwan. Today, I'm going to present my research title, Researching Generative Adversarial Networks for Realistic Traffic Sign Image Generation. This is my outline, introduction, related work, methodology, experiment and result, conclusion. The identification of road signals plays a significant role in driver assistance and autonomous driving technologies. However, this job is not easy for a computer since the visual appearance of traffic sign image differs widely. Training on the neural networks requires a lot of data, so a good model can be trained easily and used for identification and recognition of signals. It is not difficult to design a classification system for CNN traffic sign if a sufficient number of label training data are available. The researcher typically uses the accessible data collection to perform the experiments and to capture the traffic sign picture on his own. However, a huge amount of high quality image data is not easy to access. For the purpose of this paper, we will focus on the Taiwan traffic sign image as we can see in figure 1. This is the original Taiwan traffic sign image that contain of no parking, no entry, no stopping, and speed limit. Our motivation comes from the lack of such as database, image, and research system for Taiwan traffic sign recognition. Also, our work aims to create synthetic images where real images are difficult to obtain. The synthetic image is an important issue in computer vision. Traffic sign image synthesized from standard templates have been widely used for training machine learning based classification algorithms. To acquire more training data with diversity and low cost. This work main contribution can be summarized as follows. First, we implement WCAN to generate realistic traffic sign image. Second, we analyze the efficiency of WCAN in this work to generate a simulated image with various parameters like numbers and scale. Generative adversarial network was proposed in 2014 by Goldfilo. Can consists of two important elements, which are the discriminator D and the generator G, and it is learned through competition between D and G. The role of discriminator is to differentiate real image from generated image, and the role of G is to create image that D cannot distinguish from the real image. By certain generative adversarial networks, improve the performance of GAN significantly by imposing the Lipschitz constraints on the critic, which is implemented by weight clipping. To make stable training process, WCAN is proposed. It has a loss, a new loss function derived from the Wasserstein distance, which is a measure of the distance between two probability distribution. Wasserstein distance is expressed in equation two. To evaluate our method, we use the structural similarity it is a method for estimating the relationship between the two images. The SSIM formula is based on three example measurements within the samples of X and Y, luminance, contrast, and structure. The functions are shown in formula 5 to 8. Another evaluation method we use is the main score error. It is a measure of the quality of an estimator MSE value is always non-negative and values closer to zero are better. The smaller values of MSE indicate a more satisfactory result. And we can see the equation in equation 9. This is our methodology. We can see in figure 3, WCAN architecture to generate synthetic image. From the real image, we will 
input to the WGAN and then we'll output the synthetic image that we can explain as follows. To estimate the Wasserstein distance, we need to find a first Lipschitz function. The experiments build a deep network to learn the problem. This network is very similar to the discriminator D, just without the sigmoid function, and outputs a scalar score rather than a probability. This score can be explained as to how real the input images are. In WGAN, the discriminator is changed to the critic to reflect its new role. The difference between CAN and general WGAN is to change discriminator become critic and the cost function. For both of them, the network design is almost the same except the critic does not have an output sigmoid function. The cost function in critics and generator for WGAN could be seen in the formula 10 and formula 11 respectively. However, have has to be the first Lipschitz function to enforce the constraints WGAN applies a very simple clipping to restrict the maximum weight value in F. The weight of the discriminator must be within a certain range controlled by the hyperparameter C. Next, the experiment setting for WGAN. We concentrate only the Taiwanese prohibitory signs that consist of class P1, P2, P3, and P4. And we divided our experiment become several parts of total image 200, 150. And then we also divided the image size become the 64 times 64 and 32 times 32. And it will generate 1000 image for each group. For training WGAN, our method is implemented in torch and tensor flow. The generative network and discriminative network are trained with Adam optimizer with the P1. The beta value is 0 0.5 and learning rate of 0 0.002. The bed size is 32 and the hyperparameter is set to 0 0.5. The pre-training iteration are established as 1000 and 2000. Then the cumulative input image are 200, 150. In comparison, the input and output size are 64 and 32. It will also generate 1000 images in its category. Our experiment and result we can see in figure 4. This is the synthetic traffic sign image with size 64 and 1000 epoch. As we can see in figure 4, A, D, G, and J, it is displayed the best realistic synthetic version of our model with 200 images. The images are very simple and accurate. But the worst generate image created using 50 input images is shown in the figures for C, F, I, and L. The image is noisy, not transparent, and has a lot of noise associated with others. Another example in figure 5, we can see the synthetic traffic sign image with size 32 and 1000 epoch. In figure 6, synthetic traffic sign image, this is the size 64, but using the different epoch, 2000 epoch. In figure 7, this is the synthetic traffic sign image with size 32 times 32 with 2000 epoch. As we can see in here, in figure 6 and 7, display the synthetic traffic sign image of class with size 64 and 32 and 2000 epoch generated by WGAN. However, the image performance is sufficiently realistic at the level that human beings cannot discern which picture is synthetic and which is actual. We also conduct the experiment result. We calculate the evaluation performance of synthetic image generated by WGAN with different epoch. As we can see here in table 2, we using 1000 epoch and table 3, we using 2000 epoch and we calculate the MSE and SSIM for all category image. How we can make a summarize from this result? 
We can see in table 4, we calculate the average value of evaluation performance synthetics image generated by WCAN for each category. So, as we can see in here, for Epoch 1000, it gets the MSE 4.96 and SSIM 0 0.456. For Epoch 2000, it exhibit the MSE value 4.60 and SSIM 0 0.48. It means in this category, while using 200 images and image size 32 times 32, it is the best categories compared to others. And then using the Epoch 2000 because it exhibit the highest SSEM, SSIM value and minimum MSE value. In figure 8, we can see the evaluation performance of MSE and SSIM. We can see how we calculate the MSE and SSIM. I am for each image its category. All original images in figure 8, A to D indicate the same MSE 0 and SSIM 1. Another example in figure 8A refers the MSE 3.49 and SSIM 0 0.62 for class P1. So we calculate everything one by one. Based on the test finding, it can be inferred that the trend of accuracy improved with the MSE value and training time. The highest SSIM values reached when using 200 total images as input, image size 32 times 32 and epoch 2000. Based on all the experimental results, it can be concluded that synthetic traffic sign images can still be produced with a small training image. In this experiment, we try to produce synthetic image using 50 real image and produce 1000 synthetic image. Although the quality is not as good as a class that used a lot of pictures for training, it can still be used to solve problems where the real image are difficult to gain. We intend to build a complete Taiwan traffic sign dataset with more images in future works. We are also working on some modification to the current YOLO V3, SPP, and YOLO V4. In future research, we will create synthetic pictures based on other GAN methods such as DZGAN and LSGAN. We reserve to practice a model with higher dimensional image to advance the efficiency of traffic detection and recognition. Thank you.